day I just wanted to talk about um, just general stuff really. I am, um, probably should introduce myself really, I am a 24 year old chap, lives in Somerset in England. I'm a pretty chipper guy, I'm pretty happy most of the time. Not very much goes on in my life. My job occupation is I'm a soccer mechanic. I like my bikes. Bit of a nerd, bit of a secret nerd. Don't really give it out to my friends that much. Quite into my uh, games and stuff. <laughs> that was a costume that I wore at six form once. You couldn't get in the doorway. You just couldn't fit. It was ridiculous. Um, the reason I'm doing these videologs is because I've got a very weird sort of brain and I'm going to try and get things off my mind, play them back and see what's going on really. I can fucking yawn it. I'm not that tired. I went to bed at like three. <laughs> That's pretty late actually. But yeah, anyway, I went on holiday a while back. I went on holiday with a girl I live with, her brother and uh, a cousin. And um, I obviously knew her brother but never met her cousin before. And um, I don't know, it was really weird. It was almost like meeting someone that I knew I would get on with instantly. Instantly. I, I, I all of a sudden had everything in common and I was really interested in everything she had to say. And I kept, you know, looking at her and I caught her looking back at me. You know when a girl likes you because they kind of like do all this sort of shit and they look, look at you and you know, I knew she was shy so I didn't know whether or not she just felt uncomfortable or not. You can never tell with new people can you? So um, yeah, on holiday it was really really good but at the time when I was on holiday I was kind of, uh, not in cahoots but I was kind of in an agreement with an ex-girlfriend where we were kind of doing stuff and uh, I, I wanted to break that off but because I'm a bit of a wimp, I didn't really do that before, uh, before I went. And uh, I don't like doing two things at once. Otherwise, I would have, you know, pursued this girl. Well, and um, and uh, when we got back to England, we, you know, exchanged details, Skype, Facebook, or whatnot. We got chatting. She was into the same computer games as me and stuff. And kind of just got on with it from there. And um, I, I just really really like started to like her a, a lot I started to think about things like oh you know you could go up and see her and you know if you did go out you could make it work even though she lives a bit further away not that far away it's only about 50 odd miles from where I live which is not that far to be honest it's just inconvenient is the word and um yeah um but the more I, the more I spoke to her the more I was like oh my god you're you're like the perfect girl for me perfect you know, and um, I went up to uh, see her to hang out, just to mess, you know, mess around some games and stuff. Met her mum, met her brother, friends hanging out, sort of thing. And um, she's the most difficult person to read in the world. I've never, ever encountered someone that's so difficult to read. So I was so struggling to, to get whether or not she liked me or not, or she didn't. And we kind of slept in the same bed. It's kind of weird, because you don't really do that when you're just hanging out, but the room's quite small. And um, I slept like in the corner of the bed, she slept on the other side of the bed, we didn't like touch her. Really. I really wanted to hold her hand, but I didn't, I felt really awkward. And then I kind of did for a bit, and there was no embrace there, there was no, she didn't, most girls, you know, would embrace, even if they're being spooned, even if it's just a friend, they would still be like, oh, that's nice. But no, nothing, nothing at all. And that weirded me out a little bit. And um, recently I've just started twigging that she's awfully into other girls. And then the other night when I was chatting to her online, because we, we talk about Tumblr posts and stuff like that. And um, I asked her to, to post one of my pictures to try and get it out there, you know, because I was quite proud of what I made because it was a bit sh shit, but I was quite proud of it. And... Um, I found her Tumblr and I found out that she liked girls and I was a bit like heart sunk. I was like, oh no, because I've invested a bit of emotion in the head into this girl and uh, I don't know, 
No, I don't, I don't, I don't know what I think anymore. Because I still quite like her, even though she, you know, she might be gay. I asked her about it. Oh, I didn't ask her about it. I went out when I was flying last night. Um, she, I said I'd accidentally seen her tumbler. She goes, oh no. I said, don't worry, secret safe for me. Because I don't think she wants people to know that she's gay. I'm, she's quite shy. I don't think she wants people to know just yet. So I'm not going to tell anyone. And, uh... Yeah, it's really weird. It is really weird. No, I'm just jumping up to that. My head's, my head's in a bit of a spin now. I'm literally like, you like someone who... Obviously, he's not going to like you back like that. But I'm not going to lose her as a friend over her. I really, really like her. She's really, really cool. But I'm just a bit like, damn. The one girl you find who's just the perfect match. Like, so much synergy there. Like, everything we say is just spot on. And... That, which is, you know, it's not her fault. I mean, she is what she is. It's just one of those live sort of things. And it's a bit gutting, really. But yeah, before I get that off my uh, off my mind, and log it down so I can play it back and have a look at it. On the plus side, though, I mean, um, I've got a mate now who's actually really cool. I feel really comfortable talking to her, so I've got a new friend. Whee, everyone likes a new friend. I, I, I don't like having too many friends. I've only got a couple now that I just keep close. The rest of them are just mates, aren't they? They're not friends, they're not true friends. You wouldn't go to them in a time of crisis. You'd, you'd go to your friends, you wouldn't go to a mate. Um, yeah. I'm just going to keep my... Uh, keep myself busy. It's annoying because people are going to ask me like, oh yeah, what's going on with this girl? And I'm going to be like, oh, we're just friends. But secretly, there's something else going on. No, oh, well. never mind. Never mind. Maybe next time. Maybe I should ask them what their sexual preference is before I even get any emotional involvement. <laughs> Probably not. Probably not going to do that.